Remember, no names, have enthusiasm, ask questions, be yourself, is all the time. Yes. He's one of the most unfake people I know. He is so real. Yeah, you're, you, never, you never front, do you? You don't. I'm not an imagination. I've never seen my whole life. Is it just so straight, straight, to, straight shooter down to earth? Cool. Okay, so he's going to do three, two, one, and then start capturing. Wait, how are we doing it? Professor Shaniqua. Uh, we'll Math with sunshine, oh I really like that. Math with sunshine. Cloudy up. Okay. Okay. Three, three, two, two one, one, go. Okay, good afternoon. Hey, <laughs> the kids. What's my name? Mathma. Sunshine. Mathma Sunshine is here for a lesson on solving systems by graphing. Uh, this should be a pretty straightforward lesson. I hope we get to it uh, pretty easily. So uh, let's define what we mean by a system first. You see on your paper, we have 2x plus 3y equals 12. <laughs> if I wanted to plot points here, who can give us one easy point that is definitely on the slide? One. What do you got here? One. One what? Point. What? What? Zero. One zero zero. One x equals zero. Y would be so zero four. So zero four is true. Is zero four on this line? Yes. Yep. Is zero four a solution to this equation? Yeah. No. Yes. 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 If it fits in the equation, it's a solution. Right. So let's actually go ahead and graph it. You can graph it on your paper. So we're getting zero four. I'm gonna graph this one in blue. I'm about to tell you. Good job. I'm about to tell you. So zero four, um, one two three four. Mr. Dude. Yes. Got... Oh, you want one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Like splayed out like a butterfly. Okay. So what's another point on the sign? Yes. You need one too. Oh, no, I have a question. Oh, please question. Yes, we can. Yes, we can put it into slope intercept. We're going to do that for the next line. But before we do that, I want to talk about what we mean by system, what we mean by solution. All right, so keep that in mind for the next slide. What's another solution to this graph, please? You got one? Go ahead. 6, 0. X is 6. Is 6, 0. Five. Correct. 6, 0. So 6, 0 is a solution. So let's go ahead and put that one down. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> Should have done it in blue. <laughs> so there's blue. Okay, maybe one or two more. Another Let's solution. Let's do one. Okay. <laughs> um, Nearing no. It doesn't work. It will work, but it, it may not work cleanly, right? So if I wanted to do one, one is a possible solution. If one goes here, this becomes two, right? Mm -hmm. Subtract two on both sides, this becomes yeah. like, ten. <laughs> so, so we'll get three y equals ten. So y would have to be what? Three point 10 over 3 is sufficient. Yeah, three 10 over 3. So we can go ahead and plot this point too. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of the little kids. So 1, and what is 10 over 3 approximately? You said it? 3.3. 3 and a third. So maybe right here. A little past 3. Okay, give us one more that's uh, full numbers. Yes? 3, 2. 3, 2. Let's try 3, 2. 3, 2. Does 3, 2 fit inside this equation? Yes, sir. Thus, is 3, 2 on the line? Yes, sir. Yes. Let's go ahead and graph 3, 2. Notice that they all line up. As you know, this is a linear equation. You can tell by how it looks like. It's a negative slope. This is a negative slope. That's correct. I see that. Right? Okay. Now, here's the question. <laughs> Don't worry. Here's the question. How many solutions exist for this line? An infinite, yes. infinite number. An infinite number, we heard. Were you about to say that? Infinity. Not infinity. An infinite number. In other words, could I make this list go on an infinite number of times if I wanted to? Right? But would any number work in the world? Would anything work? Like zero, zero? Could zero, zero work here? No. No. So not any number, but an infinite number. Right? So let's keep that in your mind. And let's start with the next equation that's right in front of you. <laughs> Little Miss Sunshine in the back. Yes? You suggested putting this into uh, slope-intercept form to graph. Let's go ahead and do that, everyone. 
Or you get y by itself, first by doing what to both sides? Subtract 2x, lovely. <laughs> negative y equals negative 2x, yeah, accents are fun, plus 4. And then do what to both sides? Multiply by negative 1. Right, multiply by negative 1. Basically, you can switch all the signs by doing that. And we're left with y equals 2x minus 4. Let's go ahead and graph that line. But I thought it was, oh, let's graph the line. Minus 4, oh, 4, I'm graphing this in green. Color coding is fun. 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. Okay, now we're going to define what we mean by system and what we mean by solution. Is this perpendicular? Do they have uh, perpendicular slopes? I don't think so. The slope is uh, negative 2 over 3. They are intersecting. So let me ask you a question. How many solutions existed for our first line? An infinite number of solutions. How many solutions would exist for this one? Infinite. Right? All these points on the green line are solutions. The question is, how many points or point work for both? One point works for both. One point works for both. And the point that works for both is where they intersect, correct? Does anyone know what that point is based on your graph? The solution. Yeah. What that is exactly? Oh, three, two, three. So we're getting two. three, two. So we already verified here that three, two works. Let's verify that three, two works over here. So two times three yeah, two. minus two equals four. Is this statement true? Yeah. Yes. So three, two works for both. In other words, a solution to this system is the only point that will work for both. What's the only point that will work for both? 3, 2. 3, 2. Okay. Ready for the next one? So the answer is 3, 2? Two? 3, 2 is the answer. Um, Wait, so yes. what exactly could you explain to me how you got it? We graphed both lines, mm -hmm. and we noted where they intersect. Oh. Where well, they yeah. intersect, that's okay. the solution. Is there like a way we can figure that out without graphing it? Yes, there is. It's called elimination and substitution. They're in the next sections of your packet. Very good question. That's right. So there's officially three ways of doing it. Graphing is one of them. Okay, so let's flip the paper and do the first line scene. Example B. We have three over four. Do you love fractions? No. That's the spirit. <laughs> I love fractions, this year, dude. Nice. <laughs> three. Wait, where are we? Where are we? Next page. Uh, now, what's a good way to simplify this thing? Yes. Okay, you want to multiply both sides by twelve? Let's do it. So if we multiply both sides by twelve, go ahead and do that. Don't forget to distribute. 